I'm Emily Moshak, and you're listening to Tuned In to NOCO, Town Square Media show that lets you know what matters in NOCO. I'm talking today with Allison Miller, the Development Program Director at the NCMC Foundation, Heather Schminke, the Race Director of the Turkey Trot we're here to talk about today, and Kyle Holman of the Weld Trust to talk about, well, the 23rd Annual NCMC Turkey Trot. So thank you all so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. Now, before we get into the event itself, I want to talk a little bit about each of you and your roles with this year's Turkey Trot. Allison, I'll start with you. Can you tell me more about the NCMC Foundation? So um, I'm with the NCMC Foundation. It's a nonprofit. It was established in 1975, and we support programs at North Colorado Medical Center, um, various programs like the Cardiovascular Institute, the Cancer Center, MD Anderson Cancer Center. Um, we uh, provide funding for things like expansions, renovations, um, education for providers, and um, we give scholarships for aspiring healthcare providers, um, as well as just supporting the overall departments at North Colorado Medical Center. And so that's what the Turkey Trot is all about for the Cardiovascular Institute. And how about you, Kyle? For those who are unfamiliar, what is the Weld Trust? Well, the Well Trust is a new foundation, I guess, uh, formed last year uh, out of the sale of the hospital, out of the sale of North Carolina Medical Center to Banner Health. And so what uh, the board of directors there want to do is form a foundation that can positively impact the health and education for citizens in Weld County. And it's, um, it's off to a great start. So far, we've done about $4 million worth of granting just in the past year, um, all t- in the interest of uh, promoting you know, to enhance health and education in the county. So it's a, it's a rather large foundation. And the great thing about it is it's all restricted to use um, for Weld County residents. So it's, it's deemed, it's going to be very impactful. It's kind of in a ramp up mode right now, but once we get all said and and done, it's going to, we're, we're looking to really positively change a lot of lives in the county. So cool to have the Weld Trust involved in this year's event. How about you, Heather? What's it like to be race director? Um, it's going definitely a different year. So this is my third year as the actual race director, but I've been a part of it for 17 years now. Um, definitely different with this year having to go virtual. So we're making a lot of different changes. Um, a lot of things are changing from race day to doing the virtual, virtual race, um, which a lot of races, if they've wanted to still have, um, events has, have had to go to virtual with the ever changing, um, pandemic rules and regulations. Right. And like you said, the event is virtual this year. How is that going to work? Um, So the race is virtual. So instead of just having one race that starts at 9 a.m. on Thanksgiving Day, we are going to have a virtual race. Participants will still register with us, but they get to go and run the race on a course of their choosing, um, on a day of their choosing between the 22nd and the 29th. Um, And then they'll upload times and photos for us, um, hopefully in our our T-shirts that are Um, amazing thanks to Allison Uh, and we're just gonna hopefully get a lot of support still for the event Um, still have it be a family fun event and uh, still support our uh, cardiac and pulmonary rehab programs I love that the event can still go on this year and you touched on this a bit but just so it's extra clear how can listeners register how can they track their race times what else do they need to know Okay, so um, as far as registration, um, registration is online at getmeregistered.com, and you will look up NCMC Turkey Trot. Uh, Registration will still be the same. Um, You register for your 5K or your 2K. Um, You'll pick up your packets between November 21st and Wednesday the 25th at NCMC um, on given times between 10 and 3 on Saturday and Sunday and 10 and 6 Monday through Wednesday. Um, And you can participate prior to picking up your packets, but um, if everybody has their shirts, that'd be awesome as well. You can track your course either using um, apps like MapMyRun, Strava.com, find course uh, suggestions on sites called like RunKeeper.com. And then you'll do your course and you'll upload pictures of your time, your distance, Um, from that app to our results company, which is um, Timberline. So it's, we're being timed by Timberline um, running. So it'll be um, FLTresults.com. 
Now, the event benefits the NCMC Cardiac Pulmonary Rehabilitation Program. Can you tell me more about what that program does? The funds benefit NCMC's Cardiac and Pulmonary Rehab Programs. So those are programs that patients who have had cardiac events um, or procedures who qualify can come and have monitored exercise. Typically, it's about 12 sessions at three sessions a week. Um, pulmonary rehab are, is for those patients who have been diagnosed with COPD, emphysema, or some sort of lung um, condition that's limiting their um, capability to live a full life. Um, so those programs will closely monitor patients via their pulse oxygen, um, their EKGs, their heart rates, monitoring that they're doing exercise um, at a safe level to get them back to full life. So those patients with cardiac issues slowly get back up to the levels that they would like to be under close monitoring, um, whether it be their blood pressure, blood sugars, heart rate and rhythm, or, you know, for our pulmonary patients, that oxygen levels, um, teaching them how to titrate their oxygen up to maintain safe levels of oxygenation. Over the years that you've all been working with the Turkey Trot, do you have any personal stories about how you've seen this program really impact the NOCO community? Um, absolutely. Like every year, um, patients who might not be able to do cardiac rehab or pulmonary rehab based on the co-pays or they just can't afford it or they don't have insurance can come. So we're able to get about 60 patients in a year that would not be able to afford it. So seeing those patients be able to come in, participate in a program um, that they wouldn't be able to do. We've got great stories in the True North that's put out by um, the NCMC Foundation um, that is really highlighting one of our patients this year who he was very young, had um, some heart issues. He ended up with a heart transplant. Um, and without these funds, he wouldn't have been able to come back and learn how to, um, I believe he's in his mid-40s, so very young. He wouldn't have been able to access a program to get him back on his feet um, and be able to enjoy life with his young children um, if we didn't do events like the Turkey Trot. That is such a beautiful story. And I know that this year participants can also walk or run in the memory of a loved one through the Just Giving campaign. How can they sign up for that part? Um, so the website is justgiving.com slash campaign slash NCMC Turkey Trot 2020. Um, and people can run in honor or memory of a loved one um, and basically kind of do their own mini fundraising campaign. They can put it out to their friends on Facebook. And if I were to do it, um, say, in honor of my father, who's had cardiovascular issues for years, um, I would put it out to my friends on Facebook and say, hey, I'm doing this year's turkey trot in honor of my father. Would you contribute to the race, um, contribute to my race and my cause for my father. And those funds will directly benefit the cardiac and pulmonary rehab program. It's so cool that we have that aspect this year. What else would either of you like listeners to know about this year's Turkey Trot? Well, we would like we would like to thank our sponsors because without them, um, they help to underwrite all of the costs that we have um, for the Turkey Trot. So I'd like to thank the Weld Trust for being our presenting sponsor, Biz West, Town Square Media, this radio station, all of your affiliated radio stations, the Banner Health, North Colorado Medical Center Volunteer Services Department. Uh, the Banner Health Cardiovascular Institute of North Colorado Cardiac, Thoracic, and Vascular Surgeons. They um, help us every year, uh, Dr. Richards and Dr. Lyons. Empire Electric, North Colorado Speech Therapy, Burris, Gent Chevrolet, Greeley Tribune, Rec Flyers, and First Farm Bank are our platinum sponsors. Um, Altitude Running in Greeley. They're also um, going to be registering people at Altitude Running. Uh, PDC Energy, Norfolk Iron and Metal, State Farm, Mark Larson State Farm Agency, Weld County Garage, uh, Well Site Services, and Nail Services. So we'd just like to say thank you. And you can get a complete list of all of our sponsors on ncmcfoundation.org. And that way you can see all of the supporting sponsors. Yes, we are so excited to be a sponsor for this year's event. Kyle, do you have anything else you would like to add? 
Um, just that uh, you're going to see more of the Weld Trust out and about um, doing things for a lot of nonprofits within Weld County. We really want to be um, the people who support the nonprofits that are out there doing all the great work um, in human services. Um, we've got um, alignments with a lot of different nonprofits right now, but you're going to see more and more um, granting to nonprofits um, as, we, as we ramp up the Weld Trust, and you're going to see more and more what we can do. And, and the Weld Trust is very excited to be a partner with the NCMC Foundation on numerous events, but I'm really happy to be the presenting sponsor this year for such a great event in a year that, you know, things are um, obviously not normal and we're not having a, a in-person race, but we really encourage people to get out there and um, do something healthy for yourself and either walk or run the turkey trot. And uh, please give back and help those who uh, otherwise wouldn't be able to afford their cardiovascular rehab and sign up for the uh, for the virtual event. Uh, we'd greatly appreciate it. I know the NCMC Foundation would would greatly benefit from that, and most importantly, the patients benefit from that. So uh, just encourage people to get out there and register. Are there ways that people can volunteer or donate with the Weld Trust? Yeah, actually, um, you can uh, go to weldtrust.org and, uh, and donate there, but also um, just donating to the NCMC Foundation actually helps the Weld Trust because we are uh, supported in a supporting organization by IRS designation. And so actually helping the NCMC Foundation with something like signing up for the Turkey Trot actually um, helps and props up the Weld Trust. So it's a, it's a really neat relationship we have, um, the two organizations have together. And uh, so, yeah, please uh, continue to, to give to the NCMC Foundation, whether that's for some other hospital entity or, I mean, uh, department, or through uh, something like the Turkey Trot, which is, you know, you're doing something healthy for yourself and you're, you're paying it forward with your entry fee as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's how you can best help the Weld Trust. I think what's really cool about this year's race is that you have an entire week to do it. And you can just grab your closest family and family members, friends. Um, you can try and beat an old race time. You know, you can run it or you can just do a leisurely um, nature walk with your family, which is probably what we'll be doing, you know, just so I think, you know, we have to make the best out of this year. And I think, you know, people can kind of make it their own and make it fun. And um, we want pic pictures. We want people to send their pictures in. So please do that. Uh, that that's all I was going to add is it's nice to have it for a whole week. You know, last year it was super snowy and and uh, icy. So um, to be limited to one day, one race, um, it seems kind of fun to be able to do it whatever day you want. So if, you know, you know, Saturday is going to be snowy, but the following Wednesday is going to be beautiful, then you can do it on that um, Wednesday. We really want to still support the the community um, in with this race. So we're hoping that everybody wants to do it. The nice thing is you can also maybe register. And if you're going out of state, you can still participate, which is the fun part of a virtual virtual race as well as you don't have to be here on that day. Um, so don't let that discourage you from signing up this year. I love that even with the challenges of 2020, this virtual race actually opens up a lot more opportunities for people. And I just want to thank you all for taking the time to talk to me. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait for this year's Turkey Trot. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Again, that was Allison Miller, Heather Schminke, and Kyle Holman talking about the 23rd annual NCMC Turkey Trot virtual race. You can find registration information at ncmcfoundation.org using the keyword NCMC Turkey Trot.